I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Today's video is brought to us by Brad. Brad, thank you so much for the contribution to the channel, but I really appreciate it. Hell, Brad, we've been together since the beginning. Cheers. Peace be with you, my friend. Well, we are most certainly, did you see that orb? We are most certainly seeing an acceleration of narcissistic abuse. It's funny how I just say the words narc abuse and orbs start flying everywhere. Anyways, I was at Facebook for a few minutes chatting with my son and a lovely woman by the name of Lisa pops up and says, Hey Kim, I don't know if you know this, but my ex-narc is on your friend's list. Oh shit. Sure enough, you know, I do accept uh, far too many friends requests just because I assume it's someone from the channel. Now, this dude has been, you know, sending that wavy message to me and highs and things like that. And, you know, I really uh, don't reply a lot to the men because I just assume it's part of that whole weird algorithm, you know, stalker spam thing. But sure as hell. So uh, for any of you, <laughs> wondering if your narcs are tracking you, uh, go right ahead to Facebook. I'll leave a link to my Facebook page under this video. And please just scroll through my friends list. I'd be very interested to find out how many of your narcs are actually <laughs> on my Facebook friends list. Shit. Facebook has become such an absolute cesspool. And you know, I do get a lot of messages at Facebook. Uh, sometimes I reply, but more frequently I don't. And that's just because I'm not sure what tracking capacity Facebook has. And I just feel a lot safer here at YouTube. The experience so far has been a lot better. Just want to take a moment to thank you guys, man. You guys have been my lifeline. The channel has already crossed over its one year anniversary. And when we did that, we crossed over to two million views, two million views. Outrageous. We've been swarmed with orbs. We have over 10,000 subscribers and day after day after day, whether it's in the emails the comments or during phone calls, I am informed that one more, one more victim got free. One more victim found the courage to get out. And what allows that to happen, what really fosters that freedom, that strength that we need to get away from these things is this collective. Absolutely. It's us together as a group, united. If you guys remember around this time last year, we also experienced quite a tremendous increase in narc activity, narc abuse, hoovering, a uh, tremendous amount of future faking, abuse seemed to be accelerating. And I do believe that this is directly in line with the upcoming Christmas holiday season. Absolutely hate the holidays and they're going to do everything in their power to throw a monkey wrench in your special time with your family. So if you're being hoovered right now, man up. You are the resistance. Make sure you keep that fucking thing out of your life. With so many of us waking up this vast, huge global awakening where people are just snapping out of it, even people who have spent an entire lifetime suffering from the abuse these horrible narcs inflict on us. They're waking up and not just waking up to the current situation that jarred them awake, but really waking up to, in many cases, really looks like a lifetime of narc abuse. And I will tell you, as a result of this collective and the tremendous outpouring of self, I mean, you guys have broken every single barrier. You have stepped up. You have bravely told your stories. You have reached out to one another. And we all together, collectively holding hands, have pulled each other through. And I will tell you, I've had a bit of a weird awakening myself. Um, I guess for many empaths, we accept cruelty. We accept horrible people believing that in life there's just good people and bad people. Well, I think we've come to realize that's not the case. And I too, like so many of you, am now recognizing abuses um, stemming back well into my childhood. And that for me has been a bit incapacitating. It kind of blew every theory I had on that good people versus bad people thing and really have come to realize that this is a war. It's us against them. 
It really feels like that to me. And that has been confirmed by you guys over and over and over again. So just be very mindful of new people coming in your life. If you are now starting to recognize that you have likely been a victim of narcissistic abuse uh, throughout your lifetime, uh, if not steady, certainly in periods as I've come to realize, uh, it's, it's quite soul crushing, but, uh, in that, there is nothing but strength and power in acknowledgement, recognition, education, and the unity that we all share together here. If you're just waking up to the reality that you are a victim of narcissistic abuse, that you were targeted by an absolute empty meat suit of a motherfucking demon, it's pretty shocking and very overwhelming, but I'm going to tell you, hang in there. It gets a whole lot better. Uh, even six months ago, telephone conversations really involved a lot of um, sad stories, a lot of crying, a lot of sadness being exchanged uh, between me and friends here at the channel, which of course, as time's gone on, more people have gotten free. More people have come to understand what this thing is. I'll tell you, there's a lot more laughter in the phone calls. There's a lot more happiness. I get up in the morning at five every day. I get a coffee. I read through the comments. And I'm going to tell you guys, you guys are fucking hilarious. I mean, the way people have been able to flip this horrible situation around and really find the humor in the insanity, the humor in the madness, even uh, months back when that crazy stalker witch from British Columbia, I mean, well-known stalker, crazy lady started infiltrating my life. I mean, at first I was a little put off by it, but you know, I really see the humor in their scrambling, their scattered thinking, their desperation, their envy. They're fucking nuts. They're just absolutely off the Richter scale crazy. And there really is some humor in that insanity. Sorry, I had to stop filming there for a minute. I was in, I was in an orb swarm. <laughs> Anyways, as much as the narcs are all the same, as much as they've all been working off the same playbook, the same four-step agenda of idealization, love bombing, devaluing, dumping, discarding. I mean, they're slaves to that agenda. We too have a lot of real common threads linking all of us. And I'll tell you one that I've really noticed is Initially, when people find the channel, when people start to phone me or email me, it's all the same. My life is ruined. My life is ruined. And yes, it feels like your life is ruined because these rotten creatures infiltrate every aspect of our life. But as much as they all start out the same, they all start to transition and morph into something really incredible. Where people are not only woken up to this domestic abuse, this domestic narcissistic abuse, but they're awakening to a whole new world. Their level of connection to humanity is very different. And most people in time start writing things like, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. This is the most incredible journey I've ever been on. And as you walk into that pitch black, really dark tunnel, you know, as you initially wake up to it and the darkness just seems to continue and continue. Trust me when I say, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It just seems to break open one day. And not only do you see your interaction with the narcissist for what it truly is, but you start to see the world and each other on a whole different level. And then there's the introduction of this incredible superpower. I'm telling you, I feel so enlightened by this because now I can spot them. I don't need to step in the ship pile again to find out, whoa, up to my knees and shit. No, you actually start to see the ship pile miles down the road so you can avoid it. Don't do any of this. You're not responsible for any of it. The reason you were targeted, the reason you were tortured by these rotten things is because you are fucking fabulous. You're an incredible person. You're an earth angel. You're a truth teller. You're a way shower. You are an empath. You are what is right with society, with humanity, and with this planet. And you know what? We will probably all be targeted for all of eternity. But now we got this superpower and we can spot them and avoid them. Guys, I love you lots. Thank you so much for your contributions to the channel. It's really helped me a lot personally. 
I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you guys are having a great NARC-free day.